Well, it's looking like today is gonna be the last day I get of nice weather, warmth, and sunshine. Well, at least for a little bit, because we got some tropical storms and stuff in the Gulf, and we're gonna have to hunker down a little bit down here in Houston, Texas. But until then, we are celebrating. And what are we celebrating? Life. Yeah, we're celebrating life. And tonight, well, we're gonna be celebrating all day, but tonight, we're gonna watch a movie, man. So I got this new projector from BMQ. It's an outdoor projector that's actually splash proof and drop resistant. I've never seen this before in my life as far as that kind of durability, but that just tells me it's like made for the outdoors. So we're gonna try this thing out tonight. But I gotta figure out which side of this awning uh, that you're sitting under, which side we're gonna put it on. Either A, we put it here, kind of just turn the couches around that way we can watch it there because I got a 120 inch or this is a hundred inch drop down screen that I can move from here or if you just kind of circle around with me come over here man we can actually watch it from the pool because right there is where it's at right now because we usually watch things in the pool so what are we going to watch tonight justified CSI or some movie or something justified it is look if y'all have not seen the show justified it is a great show you got to check it out but until that comes on or until we decide to watch it i gotta show you this projector so we're gonna take it to the lab break it down show you all the ports and like the menu functions and stuff like that because it does have android uh, built in i think it's like android 9 or something like that but anyhow let's just go to the studio that means i gotta like leave here to go there look y'all are special because i don't i don't really want to leave but i gotta show you this stuff so come on let's go Dude, it ain't gonna take that long. Just chill, man. It's my off day too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quick and fast and in a hurry with this. All right, look guys, Wilson is cranky because I pulled him out of the house on his day off. So we gotta go through this kind of stuff real fast and quick like, cause I don't want somebody to be upset with me. All right guys, look, this is the BenQ GS50. Outdoor, well I ain't gonna call it an outdoor projector. It's portable, okay? but it is weather resistant because it's got a splash proof. I think it's IP, IPX2 or something like that. Look up the specs in the, uh, the link I give you. I'm, I'll give you the link. You can look up all the specs and stuff. But the thing I'm probably most excited about this is that it is drop resistant. You know, water resistance is great because like I said, we watch a lot of content outdoors from the pool or from the little couch area I showed you. But dude, I have a crazy dog. He's a giant schnauzer puppy. He's eight months old. And I always have to make sure he's put inside because the projector I was using previously, there's no water resistance or drop resistance. So I was like, put the dog inside, then we can come out here and chill. With this, you can just, it's like two and a half feet you can drop this thing from and it should be okay. We're not gonna do a drop test today, but it's nice to know that if this falls off the projector plate or stand that you got it on or off a table, you're gonna be okay. We're gonna take a quick look around because I don't wanna get on Wilson's nerves today. We got your sensors on the front and then you got your LED bulb right there. Now this thing is native 1080p. Now that's something that you, yeah, you gotta make sure your stuff is native 1080p. And uh, yeah, it's got auto keystone, auto focus, which is super nice because it is a portable projector and you don't have time to be doing all this stuff and doing keystones and stuff like that. If you're standing behind it and looking down, there's the lens right there, but then you can see your power button right here. You got your Bluetooth connectivity button right there and you got your volume up and down and then you got your remote sensor right here now let me tell you about this remote this remote works from pretty much anywhere i don't know if it's ir or wi-fi i have no idea but i have never seen a remote on a projector of this type that works without having some type of linear you know like a straight line of sight this thing works from all around the projector so you don't have to worry about you know making sure you you know hold your remote up and stuff like that I, that was another feature that i really liked and i don't even think that's an actual feature still hanging out on the top of this thing if you open it up once you unbox it you're gonna have to put this little uh stick in here this is an hdmi streaming stick you just plug it in and this is a micro usb uh port right there you just plug that in then plug in plug it into the uh, HDMI port that's right here and then you can get your stream on and that that's what makes the like the Google TV and stuff work uh, you just plug that in cover it up and you'll never have to touch it again but before you put that cap on make sure you get this gasket back inside of the trap because if you leave it bunched up or you know out of alignment that's gonna uh, kind of hinder your waterproofing and you don't want that to happen because you want this thing to remain splash proof. So make sure that gasket is intact 
put your lid on there just like that, push it, and then you are water resistant once again. On the back side, you're gonna see three things. First, we got this big old vent right here to keep this thing nice and cool while you're using it. It is super quiet while it's running, by the way, whether it's on eco mode or low mode or normal mode, all three modes are ultra quiet. Then what you have here is a subwoofer because this thing has 2.1 sound. Let me go ahead and skip to the sides real quick. See that little orange thing right there? And right here on the side, those are the other two drivers. You got 2.1 kind of surround sound. I don't want to call it surround sound because it's coming from one direction, but this thing sounds fantastic. I'll talk about that in a moment though. And here, right here, you're going to see what I perceive to be its only downside. And it's not really a downside. This is actually just the DC in charging port. It comes with this big old charging brick, man. You got the AC plug right here. You plug that into this DC power brick, then you plug the power brick into the back of the uh, projector. Something like this, you would think it would have USB-C, but it's okay. It is still portable. It, it's got about two and a half hours worth of charge and then you won't even have to look at this thing anymore until you're ready to use it again and there you go. Going back to the front of the projector, yes, it does have auto keystone, but if you need to level this thing up a little bit, you just press that button right there and bam, you get this little kickstand right here, which is really nice to have because you don't want to be, you know, putting books and stuff up under the projector. And then once you're done, you know, if you need to lower it, just press it in and push it back in like that. The last thing I want to talk about is this little handle right here. It's got, I mean, the whole thing has this like retro look and this handle kind of just flattens like that. It's on with these two discs. You just pull it out, carry it wherever you need it to go, set it down, push it back in, lay it flat, and then you're good to go. All right, it's dark enough. I've waited all day for this right here. We got some ambient lighting from the sky there, some tiki torches, uh, some landscape lighting, and what else we got back here? There's the lighting from my home right there coming through the window, and here is that beautiful image quality coming through. Man, that looks real good, man. This is so good. So right now you're looking at a 100 inch projector screen, and I'm broadcasting it from exactly nine feet away. You see it right there? Now, before we get too deep into the menu and everything, I wanna tell you that on the side of it, uh, on the opposite side from the handle there, you're gonna have, uh, looks like five ports. You got your 3.5 millimeter input right there. That way you can plug in some speakers if you want to, which is not gonna be necessary because this thing has some really good speakers. And then you're gonna have a USB-C port, and then you're gonna have your HDMI, and then you're gonna have a regular standard or a standard USB a input and then you're going to have a child lock that way you can lock out the buttons but i'll be honest with you man unless you're hooking up like a console game or nut or something like that to this thing there's absolutely no reason to have any cords with you provided you have wi-fi now if you're camping or something like that yeah you're going to have to plug in your own devices and you see you can you see right there you got all the ports that you're going to need to use right now we're watching deuce bigelow and my wife has a remote in her hand so i'm gonna go ahead and ask her to go ahead and turn this volume all the way up just turn it up babe what is that is that a custom living color anti-glare retractable top tank? The speakers on this thing are nuts. Like I said, you got three of them. It's a 2.1 system. You got a sub and you do get bass out of that sub. And then you got two of the uh, mid-range drivers there on each side. So as far as speakers, yes, you can connect it to an external speaker via 3.5 millimeter or through Bluetooth. But honestly, if you're sitting fairly close to this thing like she is, you will not need to hook up any external speakers. Since this is Android TV, let's go ahead and take a quick look at that homepage interface. You see we have all your Google apps right here, Stars, Pluto, Peacock, all the good stuff, man. And then you can go into an app such as, a little hint here, if you wanna get something like Netflix, you go ahead and download this Aptoid TV app. That way you can download that, download that because it doesn't come standard with it, but you get all the other greats like Hulu and all the other ones like that. Oh, there's Disney Plus over there. All right, now let's get into what I really wanted to show you here, which was the projector menu. Go ahead and hit that dedicated projector menu button. You got your brightness right there, which you can control manually. You got your picture modes and you have several to choose from. Bright, living room, sports cinema daytime campfire wow that's that's a lot and then we'll go into sound modes right now i have it on cinema i'm gonna keep it there because we're watching a movie hello and then we'll go down to eye protection you got your power mode picture parental control and installation and, and your system stuff power mode this is important because these different modes will give you uh the the best out of your battery life i have it on normal right now and you can see it's it's at a pretty decent level of brightness which is very comfortable and completely dark light like I have right now. But what if uh, you had, let me bring up that menu again, but what if you had it in pitch black and you just wanted to kind of 
tone it down a little bit and save some battery. You can put it in eco mode and then you can put it in low power. And I don't know if you can actually see this, but the screen is kind of dimming a little bit. And naturally using less power means you're conserving energy and that battery will get you uh, somewhere around two and a half hours. In regards to picture quality, this video is not doing this projector enough justice. You just kind of have to be here to see it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it is pure picture quality. And the fact that it's uh, really super easy to set up, honestly, all I did today was put this table out here, pull down the projector screen and turn on the projector. And I had to line it up just a little bit, but then the auto keystone and autofocus kicked in right away. And now we're watching a movie. Once you get it set up for that first time and log into all your apps and stuff, you're gonna be watching movies just as fast as you can actually turn this thing on. Now, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is this projector is on point and it's date night and you're kind of acting like a third wheel right now. My wife done ate up all the chips because I've been messing around with you. That means you gotta go. But before you do, make sure you go check out my podcast, man. It's called Talk To Me, the podcast nobody asked for, but I'm giving it to you anyway. Oh, subscribe to the Clips channel as well. That way you don't have to sit there for 30 minutes to an hour watching my podcast. You can just check out the clips. <laughs> all right, man, y'all go ahead and get out of my yard. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.